Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. What are you up to? I'm still checking out your ship. Wouldn't mind putting her through her paces when you're not around. If I take you too seriously, I might need to deal with you. Try it. Anyway, relax. Joyriding doesn't have the thrill it used to. Besides, if I wanted it, I'd take it. That's, so. Uh... I've been around. Ran with gangs, wiped out some gangs, joined a cult. Kept the haircut. I learned how to survive and not be a victim. Doesn't sound like you're doing much living. Not for yourself. What do you know, Cerberus lapdog, military stooge? You do nothing but live for other people. Everybody wants something. And because of that, everything is fair game. Murder, assault, kidnapping, drugs, stealing, arson. Done it all. And that's the boring shit. Piracy, theft of military craft, destruction of a space station, and vandalism. That was a good one. Illuminating. That's about all I can take for now. So go. The subject is stable, Shepard. Integration with onboard systems was seamless. Stand by. I'm gonna open the tank and let him out. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. I won't be second-guessed on my own ship by my own ship. Do it. Very well, Shepard. The controls are online. The switch and consequences are yours. Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Not your name. Mine. I'm trained. I know things. But the tank... Okir couldn't implant connection. His words are hollow. Warlord. Legacy. Grunt. Grunt. Grunt was among the last. It has no meaning. It'll do. I am Grunt. If you are worthy of your command, prove your strength and try to destroy me. Why do you want me to try to kill you? Want? I do what I'm meant to. Fight and reveal the strongest. Nothing in the tank ever asked what I want. I feel nothing for Okir's clan or his enemies. That imprint failed. He has failed. Without a reason that's mine, one fight is as good as any other. Might as well start with you. I took you and I released you. Follow my command and you'll have purpose. Nothing in the tank imprints indicated humans could be so forceful. You command as though you've earned it. My enemies threaten galaxies. Everyone on my ship has earned their place. Hmm. Hmm. That's... acceptable. I'll fight for you. I'm glad you saw reason. Huh? <laughs> Offer one hand but arm the other. Why, Shepard? If I find a clan, if I find what I... I want, I will be honored to eventually pit them against you. Shepard? Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. Humans talk too much. Like the tank. Come back later. That's all for now. Shepard. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal.
Mostly intact. They could have survived impact, but it's been years. Looks like it was stripped after the crash. They'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible. Along with us anymore, we've done horrible things to the. Repeat, toxology alert. From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as record deleted by acting captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols, other flagged issues, unsafe deceleration, local food and neural decay, beacon activation protocols. Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours. Following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback, activation was triggered remotely after 8 years, 237 days, 7 hours, on the authority of Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in beacon protocol is recorded as... Record deleted. Come on, let's get going. Let's check the ship. My father had the beacon for almost 9 years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. There's no way he could avoid eating something grown up.
leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. Who are you? What was your rank on the Gurn's back? Uh, I, I, I can't think. The leader thinks for us and, and we serve. So, so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were cast out. He exiled them. So they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Kill them! Agents of the Liar! He will not escape! They've seen us. That had to hurt. <laughs> Going dark. Uh... Gotta hurt! Just seemed a regular old crazy to me. Our father wouldn't let this go on. Something is very wrong. Strip for parts. The tech's wearing out. Those hunters must be laying on the pressure. Is that a settlement? They'd better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. They're wearing the same uniform as the ones who attacked us. But they don't look ready for a fight. Is this an earlier stage, or did the exile make the others violent? Either way, it is kind of weird there aren't any men around. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To... decay. You are cursed with his face! You certainly seem to have a way with words. You heard her. I have his face. My father forced the crew to eat toxic food. What the hell? What the hell? The hunters will kill you. They fight because he exiled them and waited too long. did this to his... You have his face. But you fight his machines. You might stop this. This, I forget how to read. But this was the start. What he promised, and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Think on your own time. What's in there? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. Not what I would have done, but they were in a desperate situation. How long do you stay desperate? The numbers go up from there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle. Boys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. It's looking like he only activated the beacon because the men have come back ready to fight. He let this happen, and now it's biting him in the ass. Nine years. Why didn't he set it right? I need to find this man. Looks like that 
dried up body was left as a warning. These newer ones Can use this. Coming. You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've gotta have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Doesn't matter. You're running a very questionable setup here, Captain. Explain. Of course. Uh, it was chaos after the crash, and the crew never really accepted me as Captain. They rebelled and trapped us here. Once they started eating the toxic food, I couldn't control them. And I couldn't get to the beacon. Just stop. We know what you did to your crew. Why let this go ten years? Who the hell are you? Taylor. Lieutenant Jacob Taylor. Jacob? My Jacob? Not who you expected, Captain. 
I was hoping not to have to explain this to him. Or anyone, really. You have to understand, this isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not biting, Captain. At some point, you chose to do this to your crew. You. What was that moment? I want to know that there was an actual reason. There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance. Like an instinct. Pure authority was... easy. At first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial. Rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. Can't say this wouldn't be a hell of a vacation. But you don't get to just walk away after all this time. You're damn right he doesn't. What happened here, I should vent his head. But he's not even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are. Because you're not any father I remember. I'm pretty sure we can spare the ammo. Yeah, you're right. But I'm not taking the shot. My father owned his mistakes. He was a different man. A good man. Half charged. You've seen the crazy ones. This won't stop them. It's not for them, Dad. get as much as a glimpse and you're restricted to decaf. Great, may as well serve it in the air launch, hard ass. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Really? Because given the result, it feels like something you'd have your hands in. You know very little about me, Shepard. Don't presume to understand my intentions. Cerberus is ultimately about humanity. My people are valuable to me. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Was this supposed to be a favor, or did you just want to see him squirm? What he did with it was his own business. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. Come on, we've got work to do. Aye, Commander. Shepard. Thanks for the help. Let's not make a habit of it. Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. Maybe not the best way to learn about the relatives, but I'm glad it's done. What do you need? I'm interested in getting to know you better. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. We'll talk later. Commander.
Jack would like to talk with you, Commander. 